Welcome back to my channel, Melanie Gemini Mystic Tarot. Um, I would have came back yesterday, but I had a few readings to do. I'm very thankful and appreciative for those people because I still got to pay my bills regardless if I can't, you know, go to work or not. I am very appreciative of the likes, the subscribes, the comments. You know, um, my message of the day is if you know that you have to end something, please end it because as we know, there has been tower moment after tower moment, after fights, after girls calling, after, you know, not coming in on time, always having an excuse every time it's time to spend time and or someone feels like they're not making the right decision on a business project or going through it by themselves. And honestly, all you need is God. You don't need nobody else because a nigga or a person or anybody in general will fail you at all times. God has always been on time. And has always showed out. So let's get into the messages. Let's see what a few of these cards are. And then I'm going to get into the tarot. And then I may use a few other decks. So let's see. Thank you guys, Spirit, God, and Archangels for the messages for my collective. For my collective. Thank you guys, Spirit, God, and Archangels. Ooh. It says, block them all. So you probably going through a lot of shit, maybe family members, friends, best friends, some saying brother. I don't know who got into it with a brother or, you know what I'm saying, a sister, somebody in the family and or um, like somebody that's in your family, their family, it's a family friend, but they're not actually family, but they like family because y'all been knowing each other for a long time. Slow and steady wins the race. Someone that was unsure, like I said, of a um of an endeavor or a business transaction or buying something, it's gonna be worth your money and or it's gonna be lucrative. Someone is being a liar and some and, and rejection. You feel that a person should have came to you and been forthcoming with you about something. And they weren't forthcoming with you. And honestly, they lying. And honestly, there's rejection. When you lie to someone, of course, you're going to get rejection. You know what I'm saying? If you can't tell somebody the truth, you're going to get rejection from me. I don't want nobody around me who can't tell the truth, who can't be honest, who can't tell me where they've been at, who can't tell me what they got going on in their head so I can move accordingly. The thing is, they don't want you to move. They don't want you to move accordingly. They want you to move how they want you to move. And then it says three-way. Three-way relationship. Somebody feels rejected because they feel like, what is it about me that they got to go and they got to be with the next bitch? I give them everything they ask. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like someone saying they had like, damn, I'm a bread motherfucking winner too. You know what I'm saying? I can put his income with my income. If only, you know what I'm saying? They stop being so spoiled and, and, and look at this as a team effort, like teamwork, teamwork, make the dream work. Thank you guys for that in our changes. Manifest. Someone thought that they was going to manifest you and somebody else have their games consistently keep going. And like you weren't never going to find out type of situation type of bullshit. Is that. Thank you guys for that in our angels and ancestors for the messages. Taken. Somebody is separated because somebody took somebody, man. And honestly, it can't nobody take your man, girl. She only took your trash or he only took your trash or however the situation may be. Money or no honey. So somebody dealing with a prostitute and or somebody got a trick, change the story. You can change this story. If you don't want to feel like you're a paymaster or you don't want to feel as if all they want is money from you. Change that shit. Change them. Change the decisions that you make with them. Because honestly, when you be in a situation with someone, they know that you got a good heart. They gonna keep doing that shit. They don't give a fuck. It make them feel good inside. Like sometimes I be making it make me feel like they feel good inside. Like they feel warm inside. The fuck over a nigga feelings and they really down for you. Real talk. Hating assholes. It's a whole bunch of hating assholes. They know and knows that he has or is in a relationship. They know this. It's the fact that they don't want you to have him all to yourself. 
honestly, he for the streets. If he keep going out with these same females and keep talking about something, he want to be with you and showing you something different. No more. Someone keeps saying no more. They tired of that. They tired of always dibbling, dabbling money. And you know what I'm saying? Somebody always on the whole stroll or somebody, you know what I'm saying? Niggas can be gigolos too. Let's not get it confused. Niggas and females will be straight on the strap. Somebody telling, somebody saw something and they telling and you better listen. No loyalty. Lord, look, y'all listen. This person ain't got no loyalty towards you. I'm going to do one more card. They don't have no loyalty to you at all. You know what I'm saying? They be telling your business and shit. When they go get into it with you, they be going right next to the to the, they be going right to the next bitch pillow talking. Right to the next bitch pillow talking. Okay. Baby. There's a baby involved. What else? Or he got a baby that's on the way or it's finna be here and it's gonna be a girl family no loyalty something about family and a baby you know what i'm saying all i know is if ain't nobody if ain't nobody helping you with your baby besides trying to put a name on it uh-uh we not finna do that we not finna do that we not finna do that do what you want to do how you want to do it when you want to do it how you know what I'm saying? Because people be want to be so fucking in control. Ignorant. Motherfuckers are ignorant as fuck. Like, what make you think that you going to have say so on what I got going on and my family dynamic and you ain't helping? Or people want to already want to name the baby and people, you know what I'm saying? And somebody hiding the pregnant. Somebody hiding a pregnancy too. Somebody hiding a pregnancy because of a third party situation. Drugs. Somebody got somebody pregnant while on drugs. Not somebody on a motherfucking budget. Or somebody um have has a habit. Or, you know, whatever their their addiction is. It can be food. It can be people. It can be, you know what I'm saying, going on trips, vacation, any of that. You got to put yourself on the budget now because it's some, some things coming up. Thank you guys for your guidance. Angel. I'm trying to get this damn card. Sit in this high chair. And then it says trust issues. Somebody has trust issues because, you know what I'm saying? Like when it comes down to your money, when it comes down to your family, your kids, your everything, your household... It's like you don't have, you know what I'm saying? You don't have what you think you have. Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archangels. Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archangels. Cut them off. It says cut them off. It says not receiving. Someone is not receiving, not being on the receiving end and giving a hell of a lot of giving. And then it says you got this. And then it says, someone is being a mooch. Y'all, it's either your friends, your family, people trying to scheme up on what you doing, how you doing it and shit. Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archangels. Plan on, plan, plan moving on. Someone's planning on moving on because somebody motherfucking greedy. They don't never want to put into, but they always want to take out, take out of, like, they pose on Facebook like they a hero poser. Like when trouble comes, they act like they finna help and they ain't nowhere around when you know what I'm saying when 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 the trouble comes. All that we shit, that we is weak as fuck. That we weak shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't you know what I'm saying when I know the motherfucker got me when the time comes. Just like when I know I already know God got me. I already know that time's coming. I already know I'm finna be blessed. I know on the 18th, it's that. You know what I'm saying? I'm working towards getting things together, organizing, and moving out. Even if I got to leave out of my apartment because I have no help with just some clothes and, you know what I'm saying, my toiletries and stuff and my business equipment, all the rest of it can go because God has more for me. And that's materialistic shit to me. I can get that again over and over, you feel me? And it says blow nerves. Somebody nerves is blowed. There's some shit going on in your life. You feel like you can't handle it, but God just wants you to sit back, sit back, sit back and feel. You know what I'm saying? Sit back and feel on the situation. 
make plans. You know what I'm saying? Even if the plan don't work out, God sees that you making plan. And I see three of swords. Make that plan, girl. Leave that nigga alone because really he needs you or she needs you. You don't need them. They financially need you. So with that being said, 10 and 10 on the motherfucking clock, they need to get their shit together. Thank you, God. Spirit, God, and Marsha Angels for the messages for my collective. Okay, that's the last one. Okay. And then it says, power up. Y'all better power the fuck up because I don't know, but I know I'm starting to see a lot of re-ins. I'm starting to see a lot of customers call to me. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to see a pickup in it. Like, it used to be like only get maybe one or two customers a week, but it's starting to pick up. And I'm, me personally, I'm thankful and appreciative of it. So, let's get into the tarot and see what's going on. Thank you guys for your God and Arch Angels for the messages for my collective. Guys, we got an angels for the messages for my collection. Okay, this one right here. There we go. Look like someone got to press up something. Thank you, guys. Spirit, God, and Arch Angels, and my ancestors for the messages for my collective. Thank you, guys. Spirit, God, and Arch Angels for the messages for my collective. Thank you, guys, for your God, Archangels, for the collectives of Gemini. Ooh. It says somebody is manifesting. Either somebody, this is the magician card, either somebody is manifesting or doing spell work. And this is number one in the, um. so number one, 11, 11 may be of significance, 11.55 on the clock when I did say that. Somebody is manifesting something. What you manifesting, girl? Bye. What you manifesting? Thank you, guys. For your God and Arch Angels for the messages for my collective. Somebody was doing spell work. They have you feeling stuck. Or someone is putting negative energy on you, y'all. This is the five of pentacles. Someone is trying to come for y'all money, but it's not finna work. You know, I don't know how 15 is this of significant, one, five. But one, somebody's trying to come for y'all money. Someone doing spell work on y'all money, but y'all, that shit ain't gonna motherfucking work. Especially on the high vibes. That shit ain't gonna work. A motherfucker wants you to feel like this. They want you to feel... Like the four of swords, upset, heartbroke. I ain't finna feel upset and heartbroken for a fuck thing. You feel me? And then right here, somebody wants you to stop being stingy or whoever this person is, is fucking stingy. They want to keep you away from your abundance. Juggling, and this may be a person. They thought that they was going to juggle you or have you in a third party situation. And you already told them from jump, you weren't even going. This could be a business partner situation as well, where you thought that y'all was going to get the money, but he want the money, the honey and the babe. No, it's not going down like that. And then it says, uh, King of Wands, Knight of Swords, and the Four of Wands. So somebody had you in rotation and they was going to the club or going to the party and met these people at a club or a party. One has natural brown hair or wear lace frontals and the other one got locks. And it's in he they were dealing with these two females juggling and shit and playing with magic and shit. And now they can't handle it. And when I get this king of, of, of wands, he, you know what I'm saying? He a hoe. You know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? It was king of wands was in reverse. And so being that this king of wands was in reverse, it's like he need his pee pee to get what he need. Like he a male gigolo or something. And now it's like, you know what I'm saying? It seemed like it's two people or two situations. 
is trying to come your way and you ain't going. It's like you looking down. You ain't trying to be in nobody's direction. They did what they did. And now they want to hold on and come see you at your job and come see you at your house and leave messages all over the motherfucking door and shit like that. You're not even going for it. You are not going for it at all. Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archangels for the messages for my collective. And this, and I got another message that this could be a nasty ass female. This has something to do with a nasty, like a nasty ass female. She went to a motherfucking party, and this is a Queen of Pentacles in her fucking verse. This is a materialistic, will fuck anybody at any given time and may not always use protection and having herself and other people that she has sex with open. So, um, it really like, it really looked like during a celebration, you know what I'm saying? It just seems like somebody was doing something they had no business doing. And now I guess it was a party or a stripper party or whatever like that. And it was like a taboo party, not no strip party, a taboo party where people's getting naked and hunching and people probably spike the goddamn, spike the juice. And then I get the two of swords. Somebody don't know where to go or they got too many people in their ear or they feel tormented. Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archangels. Torment. What else? But see, guess what? Us Geminis, we protected. We're protected. Don't you see that? The Seven of Wands protection and your situation, your baby, your life, what you're trying to, you know, do is coming. It's coming. A lot of people are already speaking down on your ideas, already speaking down on, oh, man, man, mm -mm, that ain't even going to work. I don't even think that's going to sell or I don't think, girl, keep doing it because it's going to sell. They just, and then someone has ideas, someone has ideas or someone's trying to get into your energy. A um, queen of pentacles in reverse is trying to get into your energy. Don't do it. Because they want to get that abundance you have. They want to be a part of that abundance you have. Don't do it. Right now, it's the time. And then the lover's card came out. Someone wants to get into a relationship with you so they can reap your benefits. You feel me? If you don't know this person and they just coming in, then they may have dreadlocks too. And, you know, all I can say is you know if this person is for you because you can tell, like, it ain't going to be no sneaky, underhanded, back door, I like you bullshit. It's going to be showing I like you, showing what we need to do to be together. You know what I'm saying? And they're consistent with it. they showing you that they really want to be in a situation with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't never be in a situation with someone you feel like you never had a choice. Always have a choice. You know what I'm saying? And it says the world. It's in your hands, girl. Just reach out and take it and take those leaps of faith. I promise you something coming for you and you don't even know it.